What is going on guys, Jack here and welcome to episode 15 of the Road to Glory with FC United of Manchester. So if you missed the previous episode, uh, I basically reviewed the month of November and we also played against Chesterfield in the FA Cup second round at home. Now unfortunately we couldn't get a win despite playing against 10 men for the majority of the match and so we've earned uh, a way tie at Chesterfield uh, as a second round replay. If we win this game we will get Everton at home which would be absolutely massive for the club but we really have got to st take kind of things one game at a time. So this is going to be a fairly short episode just because it's solely the match. Um, I'm thinking actually I might mix up the tactics slightly here because this isn't going to be an easy game by any means. And uh, what I'm going to do is I want to go slightly more defensive this game. And so um, I'm going to stick Sheridan holding, I think. I better get this on a better view where I can see who's playing where. Um... Hmm, I've got to think here. I want to go slightly more defensive because we are away. But at the same time, I want to kind of retain as much of our kind of shape as possible. Um, I might try my tactics that I use when I play as Atletico Madrid. Um, yeah, let's go. With, let's try these. I don't know how well they're going to work because obviously I'm mixing things up compared to the regular tactics that I play. However, this is a tactic which has worked for me in the past with better teams, and who knows? But hopefully, we can make it work. So, uh, it basically revolves around having a really solid kind of team uh, in the form of well, you can you can see what I'm doing here. It's basically trying to get a good solid center and then almost play a four-three-three. So um, I feel as if with Reed and Jerome Wright on either wing, we've got a good chance there. Um, Norton and Joyce are both on the bench, so I do have the option of chucking on a few extra attackers if necessary. Um, I'm going to be playing the counter-attack this game just because we are away from home. And I should probably be saving this as one of my backup tactics. I don't really use the backup tactics as much as I should. Um, but hopefully we can make this work. I'm going to sit quite a lot and then... Um, try and hit them on the break um, I think that's everything target man is Kirby but I want him playing poacher not target man uh, supply uh, we'll go with mixed he's kind of got a mixed bag Kirby and I feel as if that's probably the best squad that I have uh, going into this game uh, Kieran Kenlock my second choice right back is playing uh, right back for us because uh, State needs a rest but hopefully that's not going to impact us too drastically so going into this game this should be good um, I mean Chesterfield are favourites but I feel as if we have a good squad that if we turn up on the day we can certainly kind of rub shoulder sh to shoulder with them and hopefully these kind of uh, tactics will I guess pay off for us and I'm just going to give a nice calm team talk no pressure on our guys today this is kind of a bonus game in many respects it's a good kind of game to get us used to um, playing against higher class opposition in the form of I guess Chesterfield they are a good side in League 2 um, obviously we are playing for a chance to go head to head with Premier League opposition which would just be fantastic but we've got to be realistic here this, is, this isn't going to be an easy game so um, I'm going to try and hold up the ball a bit more they really are dominating possession at the moment um, but we are playing the counter-attacking game, so we are kind of trying to absorb pressure. But we are going to have to do a good job when it comes to our defending duties today. And we need to get the ball out from there. And someone's got to close him down. Spencer, what are you doing, son? Oh my gosh, my heart just skipped a beat. That always happens. He, like, just dropped the ball. But no, I mean, th this is an exciting game. I'm oh, we're going to concede here, aren't we? Get it out. Good save, my son. Oh, they've hit the, the, what the hell is happening? I don't even know. I think that was offside. I I'm not sure. But anyway, you know, this is one of these games where it really is a bonus just to be here. And Spence has just dropped into his own goal. I think that hit the crossbar and went in. Or he just dropped it. Oh. Spence is still a position. The goalkeeper position is just one that I've not touched in a season and a half while I've been here. And it's one of these ones where certainly next year it's going to be one of these spaces and places where I need to get a new keeper and I mean Spencer is like a FC United and Manchester player but at the same time um, I don't know I, I want to keep the, some of the players left from the very beginning to the very end but I feel like he's one of those ones where 
I don't know. He's just he's he's just not good enough. Uh, let's just tell everyone it's a good effort. We are. I'm going to go a bit more standard this game. Uh, this half, and now I'm going to ch change the team instructions up just a tiny bit. Um, we'll go with you playing centre mid and defend. Um, I'm going to make a change here. We're going to switch to a more familiar shape, I think. Yeah, um, yeah, we'll switch to our normal formation, I think, for the second half. Um, I'm actually going to bring on Norton because he is top goal scorer in this tournament, so sticking him on could help. And I'm going to switch to a slightly more kind of stretched version of our regular tactics. Just We're going to have some defensive options, I guess, but at the same time... Um, oh, McDermott can't play there. What about, what about a cross formation? Let's go with that. Yeah, okay. Um if we start responding, don't crash on me now. Um let's go with that. Born in midfielder support. That could work. Um I'm gonna switch my wing backs to support as well and bring on stay. I don't want to do too many changes too early, just in case we get injuries or we really have to go kind of all out attack late on. But we need we need to change something, so who knows, maybe this will pay off. It looks like we're having a better start to this half, which is good to see. We we gave them a bit too much space that half for a line on playing on the counter, but I feel as if, I don't know, we, we can try and go out and control the game now for the second half. So hopefully we can do something here, although they are kind of pulling away. And we've only had three shots, which isn't great, but we are still only one goal in it, so... We've got to we've got to be positive thinking and Jerome Wright getting booked there. That's not good. Uh, Fifteen minutes. Uh, better change to more attacking. Apparently we're having too many long shots. Let's remove retain possession and work ball into box. And then in terms of tactics, I think it's going to be time to throw men up. To be honest. Um. We'll go with a 4 2 4. I've, I've kind of got to go for it now, so. Um, just trying to. I've got to mix things up here. You know, I haven't really got a choice with 11 minutes left other than to go for the win or go for, the, go for a goal and leave ourselves slightly open at the back. So, um, attacking philosophy. Rigid. Direct, just pump it up, use the wings if necessary, try and push out our defence. We've got a fast defence, so I'm not too worried about pushing up too hard. Uh, we'll go with mixed. Um, Norton. Hmm. Uh, there's not too much I really want to change here. Oh, I'll just switch these guys to defend, but then switch them to wing backs. So they will push up a tiny bit. So that's really my go for broke tactic laid out on the table there. Uh, we have 11 minutes left to score. So we have got to do something different. Hopefully pushing up the line. I mean, I'm kind of expecting to even concede a lot here or hit one on the break against the run of play. But we've only got two minutes now. And it's not looking very likely for us with 20 seconds left. 1-0 would be a little bit disappointing, but I feel as if we've... We've given a good kind of performance, all things considering, but we do need to get the ball up here now with two minutes left. Just get it up. I wish I could tell you players to just pump it up. Go on, Kirby. Oh, what is that? What is that? What is life? Heartbreak for the FC United and Manchester fans. Oh, I'm bummed out about that, but that's just one of those things. It would have been nice to play Everton, and I felt as if we could, uh, I guess get a chance to play them. It's a little bit disappointing to go out, but at the end of the day, we weren't even expected to qualify for the FA Cup proper. So to make the second round is an achievement. It was good to take Chesterfield to a second leg because I'm going to check what place they are in the league because I don't want this episode to just be about one game. It's nice to sometimes just cover you know, stuff in a little bit of detail. Uh, let's take a look at where Chesterfield are in the league too. I don't know how high up or low down they're going to be. Um... In fact, are they in League One? No, they're not. They must have missed out by being in the playoffs. 
Where are they? Yeah, you see, they're a, they're a mid-table team, but they are up there vying for promotion. So, to lose 1-0 isn't that bad, considering the kind of skill gap between us and League 2. So, I guess they dominate the game, but we, we put up a good account of ourselves. So, um, as I said, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm probably not going to do uh, an end of December video, just because there's only two matches. So, I'll actually know this free. Um... I'll probably still just do one long episode to make up for this short one at the end of January. He cover transfers. We've got a good chunk of games there in the league that I've got highlighted now. So it is going to be a good chance for us to prove ourselves uh, in the next games. But other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, uh, smash the like button. Really helps out me and my channel. Uh, helps people kind of find the videos and stuff. Uh, let's see if we can get 20 likes on this video. That would be awesome. And other than that, guys, I'll talk to you in a bit. Thanks for watching. It's me, Jack, and I'm out.